The Welsh must have a good phrase for the end of the world. Why'd you have to say that? You know, Dylan Thomas must have written about it, written a poem or something. Of course, he wrote, uh, Do not go gentle into that good night. Well, there you go. I did a bit for the BBC. Did you? Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Do you know what it is in the original Welsh? How do you mean? Before it was translated. Translated? Yeah, do you know what he originally wrote? He originally wrote, do not go gentle into that good night. In English? Yes! That was disappointing. Tachy hoch! Mm, what does that mean? Total fucking disaster. Tachy hoch! Sounds like you're throwing up. Kachi hoch. Kachi hoch. Kachi fucking hoch. No, the, no, now you're going scouse. Kachi hoch. Kachi hoch. Kachi hoch. I could be Welsh. I could definitely <laughs> be Welsh. We would never let you You'd in. You'd love to have me. <laughs> You'd beg to have me. We have been fighting the Scots off for centuries. We're not going to let you in now. Kachi hoch. <laughs> Uh. Can you hear me? I can't. I can't see you, though. You've got the camera on. Uh, no, I've been driving, so this is just an old-fashioned phone call. Oh. Without video? No video. Oh. Primitive. <laughs> Did Joe call you? This morning, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. It's, uh, I mean, I know it's the right call, but I am gutted. Yeah, me too. I was looking forward to it, actually. Have you spoken to Michael yet? No, not yet. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real fucking shame. Mm. But Joe seemed to think we'd be able to reschedule when the theatre's real. Yeah, that's what she told me. And look, I've got an idea about that. Can I run something by you quickly? This is a fucking nightmare. I didn't sleep at all last night. I keep, I, I keep having this dream that my lungs are filling up with this kind of white gunk. Well, that's vivid. Supermarkets are barren. Toilet paper is suddenly like a, a, a valuable commodity. Where are you? Oxford. They got toilet paper in Oxford? No, I'm staying at my sister's. I thought you said you didn't get on. Well, that doesn't matter. She's not here. She's in the south of France. Look, can I moot an idea with you? There's a word you don't hear every day. What word? Mood. You also use... Semicolons in your emails. I've noted. Yes, well, I'm trying to cut back on that. Look, is there a version of this lockdown where we carry on with rehearsals? Rehearsals? Yeah, look, bear with me. I'm not ready to give up on this yet. What if we spend two or three hours a day discussing the play? Then when the theatre's reopen, we've got something ready to go. Everyone else waits six weeks. We swan into town. The British public will need entertainment. You think the British public need six characters in search of an author? It's funny. What's well, Italian? We'll make it funnier if we rehearse. You speak fluent Italian, do you? Si, ho studiato italiano all'università. Well, I, I, I speak a little German. A tiny bit of French. Um, but how do we do it? Um, have you got Zoom? Oh, is it poor? Well, uh, well, I'm Simon Evans, 1983. If you can find me an app, we could chat. Georgia! All right, just give me a minute. Hang on, I'll go inside. <sighs> Look on the screen. Yeah. No, look at the screen. Get the top right hand corner. There's like yeah. a preferences bar thing. Yeah. Just need to go down and. I'll just let you do that. David. Hi, Simon. Hi. Hi. Like this? Yeah, worked. We're doing like this. Yeah. Is it, is it working? It is so far. Yeah. That George is here. She just. Hi. Hi. Hi, Simon. Georgia. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Yeah, lovely to meet you too. Sorry about Very the lovely. delay. It's a real shame. Thank you. Yeah. It's a real fucking shame. Yeah. yeah, yeah it Simon, is. we've got to keep the house. Oh, how? With th this. Like, like this. Have you, um, have you spoken to Michael? Have you? Well. You. I'm not looking right. Yes, but he's your friend. He's not going to like it. You don't know that. Yeah, okay, hold on. He never really wanted to play. What? That'll change. Or to sign it. Mm. That doesn't tell me why he was doing it then. Well, for me, I think. Well, then 
maybe he'll do this for you too. Dad! Yeah, just coming. You seem weirdly keen on this. Weirdly keen? I just think it'd be good for you. What do you mean? Do you remember when we went away for the weekend and we got snowed in just asking the kids? You went a little bit mad, didn't you? You started spelling everything backwards in your own head. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I just don't think I can deal with that again. So I think the distraction would be good for... For you. For me, yeah. yeah. Hold on a minute! It started already, hasn't it? It has, yeah. I'll oh, call Michael. David. You all right? Give me a minute. What are you looking at? I worry that I'm in a Hitchcock film. What do you mean? The birds are coming back to Port Albert. That's nice. And that large blue finch is the leader, it seems. You all right? Just adjusting, you all right? Yeah, not bad. You started spelling words backwards in your head, yeah? I have a bit, yeah. Have you tried Finsbury Park? <laughs> it's crappy rub sniff. I almost had it. Crappy rub sniff. I shouldn't be telling you. You're the one who does it. It's not a skill set. It's a compulsion. Anna's got me painting. Oh, is she there with you? Yeah, she is. We were up early this morning to capture the dawn. Well, our family all sketched pineapples yesterday. Oh. How'd you get on? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Seems fair. Huh? One second. I see you, you little feathers. Very good. Yeah? And yours? You did that? Yeah, just this morning. Fuck off! What? You did not paint that this morning. Yes, I did. You did not paint that this morning. I did! I don't believe you. You drew the pineapple. My pineapple is shit! Well, it just needs a bit of shading. Oh, shut up. A little charcoal. When did you learn so much about art? I learned it for a role. Which role? David Frost. What could he paint? Are you angry with me for having a hobby? Well, evidently, yeah. <laughs> G and the kids okay? Yeah, not bad. Are you homeschooling? Well, that's the plan. But my kids are cleverer than me. Well, everyone's cleverer than you. Yeah, this is what is becoming very clear, painfully clear. Are you teaching them Welsh? I should teach them Welsh because they wouldn't know what the fuck I was saying. And I, I could claim some sort of higher knowledge. It's just all <laughs> consonants. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Consonants and phlegm. <clears throat> You've got to keep the mind alive. Yeah, can I moot an idea with you? You don't use the word moot. Yeah, I do. I've never heard you use that word before. Well, I mean, I have, historically, I have used it. Simon uses that word. Does he? Oh, you know he does. Well, can I discuss an idea with you? Well, is it a David idea or a Simon idea? It is slightly both. Go on. Joe, hi, it's Simon. Um, so I uh, have talked to David about the idea. And he likes it. He, he, he really, 
really likes it. Um, in fact, he said he might even prefer to rehearse a play this way than he would in an actual rehearsal room. So, um, all positive there. Uh, so he is in fact so keen that he wants to talk to Michael by himself, uh, which um, means he's going to do that, and then he's going to phone me back, um, and then I'll phone uh, you back. So, standing by. <laughs> Simon wants to rehearse a play over the internet. Yeah, and I'm thinking, you know, it's a good way to kill a couple of hours every day. And then, once the theatres reopen, we're first out of the starting game. So Simon wants to rehearse a play over the internet. It'll be fun. It's a funny play. Is it? We'll make it funny. You know Simon speaks Italian. I speak Italian. We all speak Italian. Everyone speaks Italian. So, come on, what do you think? You up for it? Oh, oh hang on a minute. Thanks, babe. Is that, uh, did, is that, did Anna just bring you wine, Michael? Hi, David. Hi, Anna. Hi, good to see you. And you. It's a bit early, isn't it? What time did you get up this morning? Um, about eight. Yeah, well, I was up at five for the dawn. So I'm three hours ahead of you, and it's after six. Cheers. Did Michael show you his painting, David? He did, yeah, yeah. Isn't it stunning? I can scarcely believe it. Oh, David's, uh, David's been working on a little something himself. No, I haven't. Yeah, he's focusing on still lifes at the moment, aren't you? No, not really, no. Come on, show us your pineapple. I don't think I need to see that. <laughs> can I see? No. <laughs> We're discussing six characters in search of an author. Oh, yeah, I heard about the cancellation, David. That's such a shame. Oh, David's not ready to give up on it yet. He has an idea to uh, cast it and then rehearse it like this. Well, could that work? Well, I mean, in theory. I mean, you know. And then we're ahead of everyone else when all the theatres reopen. We get our pick of the West End houses. Yeah. If the birds haven't taken over by then. Has he told you about the birds? He did, he mentioned a growing militia, yeah. I mean, when will they reopen? I mean, what are we going to do? Just, like, meet up every day, ad infinitum? Morning, David. Morning, Michael. Oh, there's nothing to be done. Yes, I'm beginning to come around to that opinion. I mean, it's like something out of the damn play. You don't do well in confinement, do you? Look, here's how I see it, OK? Firstly, we are not going anywhere. So it's a good way to exercise our brain for a couple of hours every day. Secondly, nice to see Anna, by the way. Yeah, she's still um, here. She's still here, so she's just rooting around for something in the cupboard, so don't say anything rude. Oh, your flies are on down. Lucky you. Secondly, I get to spend some time with a mate. If something comes out the other end of it, wonderful. If it doesn't, we've read the play a few times. We've got to know a great author. Pirandello was a fascist. Was he? Yes. Well, I, yeah, I mean, most writers were fairly dubious people. I mean, look at the Marquis de Sade. Look at Nabokov. Hemingway. Orwell. Dickens. Louis Ferdinand Celine. Victor Hugo. Malcolm Lowry. Adolf Hitler. Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Yeah, he was a rapacious, litigious landlord. Uh, yeah, but he'd stop writing then, hadn't he? Maybe. Ooh. <clears throat> Pirandello was a fascist, you know. Why do you say that? Well, the play was first performed under Mussolini in 1921. Mussolini only came to power in 1922. So Pirandello couldn't have been a fascist because the National Fascist Party didn't exist in Italy until a year later. Well, I still don't think he's very funny. Simon has worked really hard on this. You know, it's a big deal for him. Working with you, he said that. Really? Yeah, he's always saying that. He's always banging on about your Hamlet. You should hear him. 
life changing that was for him. He said when he saw it. Yeah, he's absolutely thrilled that w- when you said you come aboard. Really? Yeah. Oh. Think about your first big break. Think about how hard you would have worked to hold on to it. I think it's a wonderful idea. Well, I, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a, a call for the three of us, and we'll talk it through, like grown ups. Finsbury Park. What? You spell that backwards. It's quite hard, isn't it? Crappy rub sniff. Yeah. Michael can do that. Well, I'm sure he's got other talents. Doesn't he paint? I mean, not really. So what did he say? He wants to hear it from Simon. Yeah, that's fair enough. How is he? Who? Yeah, Anna? Yeah, happy, very perky. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Surprising, I, st- I expected Michael to be a bit more discombobulated. Why? Because I'm a bit more discombobulated. Hmm. Well, you're not the same person. Have you any cured meats? What? Cured meats? No, Mozzarella balls. Might have some old feta. So what might do, like a charcuterie board? We do actually have a charcuterie board. Hmm? Yeah, kids use it for play though. I might put stuff on it. Like what? Charcuterie. Okay. Aren't you meant to be phoning Simon? Yeah. Okay, so why don't you concentrate on that and then worry about the hors d'oeuvres later? French. Yeah. I can speak French. Can you? En petit bois. Right. It's a hard language, isn't it, actually? French and Italian. I should think that's true. I could speak French. Well, anyone could speak French. I have to talk to you like you're a child. You cannot just let yourself into someone else's home. I thought you were in the south of France. Yeah, I was. I came back. I'm allowed to make those choices. I am not a child. I own a house. I can turn up at that house unannounced. You cannot. Decided not to stay with Peregrine, then? It's none of your business. In the south of France? Yeah. Decided to come back before the lockdown? That's right. Everything okay? It's absolutely none of your business. Is the engagement's still on? Yes, it's still on. Good. Good. Stop it. I like him. You've never even met him. Still? Well, the wife I was playing up earlier. How dare you! Oh, I need to go. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. How is it that I'm four years younger than you and I still have to explain this is not how grown ups talk? Yes, it's I exhausting surrounding you like this. I appreciate it. I that. age in dog years when I'm around you. Yes, but I do need to answer the phone. Who is it? It's David Tennant. It's not David Tennant. It's David Tennant on the phone. It's not David Tennant on it the phone. It is David Tennant phoning Simon, me on the phone. Simon, David Tennant is not phoning you on that phone. Oh. I was supposed to be rehearsing a play with him. Sorry? It's been cancelled because of all this. I think I can save the project, but I need somewhere to do it from, and I can't stay in London. Hello? Why not? Can you hear me? I don't have any money. Simon, are you there? Is this working? Well, you can't stay here. Why not? Oh, hello? I'm here. I'm not sure. Georgia, can you come and see if this is working? Please? Hello? Oh, there you are. Really sorry to keep you waiting. I was just reading the... Yeah, uh, I'm going to set up a, a call with the three of us. Is Michael on board? He wants to hear it from you. OK. Did you see his Hamlet? No. Yeah. All right, never mind. All right, I'll set it up. Hang on. OK, bye, bye. Hello? Hello. Afternoon, all. Oh, it's great to see you. Hey, hey, afternoon, hey. all. Yeah, yeah, afternoon, David. Yeah, good to see you, you Simon. Oh. Should I start? You should start, Simon. Sorry, David, you go ahead. Was, uh, no, you well, should start. I was, I was, I was going to say... I wasn't, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't saying anything. David? Simon. Well, this is hardly Shakespearean. Oh, OK, well, I'll start. Yeah? OK. Uh, David, thanks for sorting this um, out. Michael, it's lovely to see you again. Um, I know that you've got some questions. 
Uh, but why don't I just try and summarise where we're at and then we can take it from there. Sound all right? Fine by me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm suggesting that we, um, we carry on casting this thing and we rehearse it like this. Uh, it won't feel natural, but we could discuss the play and maybe even stage a little bit of it and we might find that we've got something that people need when this whole thing passes. Why do you want to do this, Simon? Honestly? Honestly. <sighs> oh. Mm. I think he was about to talk about your hammer. I want my name first. What? On the poster. What is the poster? Michael Sheen and David Tennant in six characters. No. Why not? You were first in Good Omens. So? So it's my turn. Ugh. God, that's so childish. It's not about turns. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's about alphabetical order. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Sheen comes before Tennant. David comes before Michael. That's not how it works. So that's one point each. Oh, you got a middle name? Yeah. What is it? John. Christopher! Christopher, fuck off. <laughs> Two points to moi, une point to you. You made that up. No, I didn't. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm checking Wikipedia. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Michael Christopher Sheen and David John Tennant in six characters in search of an author. Also says you're a cunt. <laughs>